In the uh, Eclipse cockpit again, I wanted to show you a little bit about how these buttons work. First of all, whenever I touch the screen, let me give you an example here. See, there is some feedback. See the circle? That circle is wherever you touch on the screen, you get that feedback. So there is some feedback on the touch with the uh, touch screen from Windows 8. What I've done is uh, program the uh, center button with an outline. I'm going to touch one of these just to show you, if I can, how that works. Let's try this, uh, see if I can get a good angle. That's the outer, you can see. And there's the, I can set the speed, see the speed moving down there. If I touch the center, hang on, I put a circle there, you can see the blue circle. I set it so that the down press did not reset it, but the release would bring it back to zero. The problem is, I was hoping that I could put this thing up to, say, a value. If I could push the button in the center, see where it's highlighted, know that I had highlighted it and then move out of the center and release it and that it wouldn't get the, the unpressed or the release uh, signal, but it's, it's not that way. So it has to be uh, There's the there's a little highlight I've generated and release. So ideally, it would be nice if you could push the center button and, and realize that you were, didn't get the right spot. But at least this way, you know that you've pushed the button before you release it, um, as opposed to uh, the circle. But that's really not a problem. I'm going to do a, show you a few of the the uh, frequency knobs on the. Uh, 737 simulator, which are a lot smaller, and they work just fine. So, but there is a uh, there is a, some some feedback when you touch. You can see that if I get a dark area here, it's much more obvious. Let's try down here. There is some feedback for a touch. The other thing I was right talking about was a drag, and it would be nice if you could have a drag control to be able to drag things to set sliders in certain instruments.